Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. Woohoo! Wednesday. It's Sherman's birthday. He's 14 today. So we will be having some peanut butter bacon ice cream. Okay, well, just the dogs will have that. Yep, we're going to have a celebration for Sherman today. All right, let's take a look here at the futures. And you can see we're, you know, we're not up much. We're, um, the S&P's up about 750. The 7.0. 725. The Nasdaq's taking a nice little move up and pretty much flat across the rest. Very boring here in the mor this morning. Here's what we're watching for today. We have um, the ADP report just came out and it did miss. It hasn't really affected the market very much. Um, but we have the president coming out and speaking. We're gonna he's gonna talk about things like uh, spending, solar, infrastructure. Um, and I don't know if you will get into taxes, but there's some plays that you can make into that. And I'm going to go over just a couple of those and a couple of them that we had actually talked about yesterday going into this infrastructure, a uh, potential infrastructure chat. OK, so let's start right out here this morning. Uh, and let's take a quick check on oil, see how oil is doing, just kind of hanging in there really quiet. Very choppy in oil, but we are staying above the 50, so we like that. And the Treasury yield is down just a smidgen. We are keeping an awful close eye on that Treasury yield. When really, it's in just a fine spot. Man, that thing moves just a quarter of a point, and people flip out. <sighs> we really need to focus on some other stuff. Okay, so let's start first thing here with some solars. I actually like the solar stock. So solars, if you want to watch those, FSLR. Remember, this could all be a sell the news kind of uh, event, but F you know, uh, let's see. Um, SIQ, Canadian Solar. This one looks good for a move to the 50, but overall, I like the look here in TAN. This is the solar ETF, and what I like about this is today, well, on today's well. action, we are pulling that three up over the eight, and as of right now, we are at 91.70, which puts us over the 20. So here's how I would look at how I would play this. If you decide to enter it this morning before that talk by the president, I would watch it very closely to see if it's going to be a sell the news type of event. If it holds over the 20, if you don't get in and it holds over the 20, I would enter this after the talk as long as we hold over that 20, we would that then have a confirmed 3A cross over the 20. And going forward, that could look really good. Um, you can see yesterday's volume picked up a little bit. We'd want to see that volume also pick up just a, a, a tad more here. But I really like TAN as an ETF play. Um, I haven't had a ton of ETF plays that I've liked because they haven't really, uh, they've just chopped us in and out. But this one looks very promising here especially with this administration and its push toward renewable energies. Okay, so tan. Let's hop over to some Starbucks. I do have some Starbucks here in my cup that's now cold. <laughs> Just homemade Starbucks. Didn't go get it. Um, like Starbucks, we talked about this one at the end of the day yesterday. Look at this. We're, we're, we have a little bit of decreasing volume, but we're holding in very well. So some accumulation in here. The high is at 112.34. I like anything over yesterday's close, which would put us in at um, 110.27 to test that 112.34. So you get about a $2, just over a $2 move. And then if we get the breakout on it, of course, that would be the play. Uh, I'm watching the 521 110s, or if you push them out to June, the 110s and 115s look really good. Okay, Under Armour, another one that we watched yesterday through on my list, looking for the move over the 50 here in Under Armour. Uh, it's sitting really flat at 1790 this morning, but Under Armour, uh, Nike as well as flat. Uh, there we go. Nike as well is pretty flat. Um, I like this one too. I actually like Nike too coming back up over the this fib line here to come up and test the eight, but watch for the momentum and the move. You don't want to uh, get in too early on that one. Vips. Take a look at Vips here. Let me just look that. She can fuss for just a minute. All right. VIPS Vip Shop. Really? Wow. All this. What these waterfall candles. 
We started to make a little bit of a move here yesterday. I like anything over 32.50 in BIP shop for a move back up to the 8 and the 50 area. This is a pure recovery play. I like the 521.33s on that. BIDU, another one, been it really got pushed down, but we held on to this point of control area and pushed back up through it. Like the move up through the 8 to the 20 on BIDU, the 521 230s on that. And Viacom, this one got another one that just got the snot beat out of it. And yesterday, it made the rounds a little bit on um, like CNBC. Some people buying in it, they you know this they feel that this really just got over uh, smushed. So we will watch for the recovery on this. Lots of room here inside this pretty angry candle from back here on 326. So I'd be patient. Make sure we come up over yesterday's high. So if the, uh, looking at the 521.50s on that. And then we have to talk about Chewy. It reported yesterday. And I'll tell you what, love Chewy. They, we had a delivery um, that was left on the front porch and one of the bags inside was ripped a little bit and so there was a bunch of ants in it so they immediately came right on out and um did a you know uh i, I wrote them right away they were like nope we're gonna take care of it they replaced the whole order instead of just the one bag my goodness love chewy they are popping up here this morning they are up at 90 40 so up about ten dollars i would play that off of an orb whether it's a 5 15 30 minute range, get your day trade in, let it settle back in and watch it move along. It had a really good earnings report on this move. It's pulling the three and the eight and we're way up above the 20. So uh, just keep a good eye on that one. And Lulu reported as well yesterday. Oops. Lulu reported and they are stuck right here inside yesterday's candle not a lot of excitement did you happen to pick up any excitement i actually like lulu over the 50 to come back up here to the 200 if it happens to fail here i would say below 310 if it falls through 310 watch it come down here maybe bounce that 20 so those are the ones i am watching this morning i hope you have a fantastic wednesday happy birthday to my sherman and i will see you in the chat room